In this video, we're going to take our collisions one step further and set up the pineapple like a real baddie. So what we want to do is have a situation where the pineapple's not just sitting on the floor doing nothing, but now, in a kind of Super Mario Brothers way, moving left and right in a regular way. Kind of like old school platform games always have baddies going. At this moment, there's not really going to be anything interesting with the pineapple. It will just move left and it will move right. Now, before we set this up, I'd like you to follow my mouse by looking in the bottom right corner of my screen and then seeing, as I move my mouse, you can see the values of X are going up and the values of X are going down. Also the same with Y, going down and going up. I know it's a topsy-turvy and stencil. But let's concentrate on the X for now. So what we want to do is a, an automatic movement for the pineapple to go left and then right. And what we really want is the pineapple to know where it is in the game. So what I thought we'd do is get the pineapple to go to about 70. So that's, if you have a look in the bottom right, X equals 70. When it reaches 70, it should then turn right, move up to about 300. Well, let's do 400 just to be interesting. So the pineapple will come up to about 400. And when it reaches 400, to turn left and go back and kind of bounce between 70 and 400. So what we want to do is set up this bouncing motion from left till right. To do this, we actually have to add two scripts. Firstly, let's do a when creating. When the pineapple is created, we're going to set the X speed to 20. What that means is as soon as the pineapple is created in the game, it will start to go right. And I'm going to call this block start pineapple moving so that I know that the pineapple will move right from the beginning of the game. Secondly, let's do an, when updating because we want an always. When you're putting together a script like this, it's not so complicated, but it's really useful to kind of look at what you're doing and say it out loud. So what really what I want to do is when the pineapple is created, it will move to the right because that's what I set in the when creating block. So what I want to do is check for two things. If, for example, the pineapple reaches X 400, so that's roughly there where my mouse is, when it reaches that spot, I would like it to switch its movement to minus 20, which is now going this way. And when it reaches 70 here, I would like it to switch its motion to plus 20 and start moving this way. So it's a bouncing motion. So let's get that going. Always. If. And then what we want to do is check where the actor is in relation to its X. So that's a positional thing. So if X of actor. Now, one really good piece of advice. We're, of course, going to put a if the X position of the pineapple equals, that's the temptation. I would resist that temptation and instead use a greater than. And I'll explain that. What we want to do is always make sure we know where the pineapple is on the screen. If you say the word equals, it may be in the game that your pineapple skips 400 and jumps from 399 to 401. It can happen. In that case, this will never be true and your pineapple will continue moving right until it hits the edge of the screen. In effect, you'll have broken the script. In this case, if we say greater than 400, what that will mean is the pineapple, even if it skips 400 itself and goes to 401, 402, this will still be true in which case we can tell the pineapple to move in the direction of minus 20. Now that's to the left. Let's go back, add our otherwise if. I think you can figure out what we're going to do. Instead of using greater than, we're going to use a less than. We're going to go back to actor, its position. If the x of our pineapple is ever less than 70, go back to the motion and we'll set the X speed now to move to the right. So let's translate that into English again. Always, if the X position of the pineapple is more than 400, switch the speed to minus 20, in other words, go left. Otherwise, if the pineapple is ever less than 70 on the screen, so that's X is less than 70, set the X speed to 20, in other words, now move to the right. Let's rename this, move left, 
and right. And let's test this whole thing out and see if it works. Now, as you can see, our pineapple's actually not moving. The hit test still works. And, and there you might have a clue as to what's going on. So let's go back to our stencil and see what's actually happening. Let's go to the physics. And what you'll see is we have a problem here. Because we've switched on gravity and now we've told the pineapple to move, they're kind of fighting each other. So if we switch off gravity for a second, go and test the game, what you'll now see is the pineapple moves just fine and the crocodile hits it. And in this case, I've got a problem because really the pineapple should carry on moving. So what we need to do is rather than making it not affected by gravity, let's just turn it into a platform that cannot be pushed. So platforms in games are traditionally allowed to move. And you can see the gravity switches off by default when you switch it to the platform mode. Let's test this game and see what happens. So what you can see is the pineapple is now moving, it's left and right motion is perfect, and we have the crocodile getting killed when he touches the pineapple, but the pineapple itself carries on moving, exactly the way a platform game should work. Now let's try something else, because of course this is a platform game, so let's go back and test the game again, and this time see whether our crocodile can make a jump over the pineapple, otherwise there's no point to this game. Let's see if the game behaves like a normal platformer and if I can jump over the pineapple. So let's see what happens if I try to jump. Okay, time it well. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Now in this case, I I've got a suspicion that my crocodile doesn't jump high enough and the pineapple collision boundaries are quite wide and it also quite square. So in this case, what I would do is go back and adjust the crocodile's jump height, which would be a really easy thing to do which is here in the crocodile, in the events, go into the move croc up, and must really make it something around 50 or so, just to make the jump a little bit fairer. So that's how you create movement for your baddies, in this case a pineapple, to move left and right. In the next video, we'll talk about what everyone's been waiting for, bullets.